sorry for a crappy picture everyone. Um, Jessica256 has asked me to show you how um, I did the little, what do you call it? Yeah, that, right. Um, so, it's not really a tutorial, it's just kind of a bit of proof that I definitely did right, first of all. I'm going to paint. Right, which can be found in accessories. First, um, it helps to check your kind of what area, how much this is. Uh, you can do it by going to the side. Now you put it to the top and it says, it gives you, you know, your whatever. Yeah. And I kind of matched it with this. And then what I did was, basically I did a bunch of pictures, lines, and then like that. I actually do different colours, um, to go with different beats and stuff. Um, you know, so that was what I did in paint, and I saved them all as individual pictures. And then I imported them all, as you can see, into Windows Movie Maker. Basically what I then did was, I got a song, who is it, who is it, love game, there it is, that's there. Dragged onto the timeline, like that. And go down. You can actually here's a cheat guys. You can actually see pretty much individual beats. So what I did was I listened to the song. And I matched pictures by dragging them down and feeding them in so that they did the flash effect. So that basically I had this when I at the by the end of it, I had this. Obviously without music because um I just I didn't see there was music, I have no idea why. So yeah, that was basically what I did once I had put them all down and matched them all up. I did that. That was then playing um saved. I basically then went to file, saved it as a movie file, then re imported it back into by the WMM. So that's it there, that's that basically. And then what you do is I'll just grab a band of the scene. Um what will we do? Oh, dogs go heaven, yeah. I hear the same way. Just do this one now. We we'll just cancel the audio level. Um, so we're not hearing any gibberish from the actual movie. Um, and basically, this here. So if we just go a couple of pages up. Uh, right. Bring this down, not near the timeline, which was the uh, little movie that I'd done with all the effects. Go into tra transitions. Now, this is an effect that you download off of the Windows Movie Maker forms called the Composition A and Add B and basically overlays them without, you know, cutting up any any of the footage, which is like what 50% would do and then moved it all the way over like that so it's all the way over to the end and it's really important so that they don't it doesn't seem like it's jumping it to fade the very first scene in first and then you get that. And that was pretty much how I did it. It's pretty effective, wasn't it? Hey, thanks guys.